Hey guys, and thanks so much for watching. I have to confess, Valentine's Day is one of my favorite holidays. And it's not so much about getting gifts or anything like that, although that's very nice also. But I love how people can publicly show their affection uh, for Valentine's Day. Now, if you're like me, you try to show your affection every single day to your loved ones. But I love that husbands show up at work to have lunch with their wives. And they bring flowers and different cards and everything. And it just does my heart good. And I also love that after being with my husband for almost seven years, two years married, he still makes my heart skip a beat. I still like have eyes for only him. He still makes my heart flutter and I get all these butterflies when, you know, when you kind of checking them out and they don't know that you're checking them out. Y'all know what I'm talking about. When y'all just giving him that eye and you don't even know you giving him the eye. I love that. And Valentine's Day for me just means an, another day where I can express my love, my appreciation, and my admiration for him and for my other and for all of my loved ones. So today's video is near and dear to my heart. It is a collaboration with other fantastic YouTubers here. I will link every last one of their channels below. But today we are doing a show your love collaboration where we share with you guys three things that we love very, very much, as well as I'm going to share with you guys my tablescape for this Valentine's Day. Now, let me put a disclaimer out there. I don't go all out for Valentine's Day. Definitely not the way I do for Christmas and for fall and different things like that. But I do like to put a few seasonal touches here and there because, again, I do love Valentine's Day. So I'll be sharing with you guys what I came up with for this year's Tablescape as well as sharing with you guys three things that I love. Okay, again, please check out all of the awesome YouTubers in this collaboration. I'm sure you guys will love them as much as I do and that you will find inspirations with the beautiful tables that they came up with. Okay, so first and foremost on my list, list of things that I love is, guys, I love having a spiritual walk. Now, I can say I love God or I love going to church and different things like that. But guys, it's really more than that for me. It's really about having a spiritual walk. And that means, yeah, that means reading my Bible and going to church and praying and different things like that. But for me, it's a walk. It's a way of life. So it's not something that I kind of pull off the shelf whenever I need it. You know, obviously I need it every single day, but I really try to incorporate it in my life. I really try to have a daily interaction um, with God. It's not something that I um, take lightly. It's not something that you know I take for granted. It's something that I know is my lifeline. It's my lifeline. It's a lifeline to my family. If I'm feeling worried about something, overwhelmed, happy, excited, things like that, I like to share with God because I feel like everything happens you know, good or indifferent because God allows it to. And before I try to cast all of my worries and um, insecurities on him, I really just try to thank him, you know, for my family, for my health and my strength. And sometimes, yeah, my health will fail me. You guys already know that I have had some struggles <laughs> with my health here lately, but I know where my strength comes from. And that's why I keep on going. And that's why I keep on smiling. And that's why, you know, I know that come what may, God still has me. So I love having a spiritual walk and having that relationship with God and how I can go to him and, you know, cast all my cares on him because he cares for me. So that is the one thing that I love and I hold in the highest regard because I know without that, nothing else Nothing else can happen. Nothing else matters without that spiritual walk. So that is the A number one thing that I love. Number two would have to be friends and family. They have to be. You know, they're the reason why I'm here. 
They're the reason why I do what I do every single day. My husband, my children, my mom, my dad, my siblings. I mean, the list can go on and on and on. But they're everything to me. Spending time with them. I mean, we had the greatest time over Christmas with my mom, my dad, my nieces, my great nephew, you name it. But we just love being together. Now, just like any other family, yeah, we have our disagreements all the time. But it doesn't mean we don't love each other. It, it, I mean, we still love each other. It's just sometimes we disagree. If you're married, I don't even have to, we don't even have to talk about that. Lord Jesus, I have to call on the blood of Jesus sometimes. Because as much as I love my husband, you guys know we don't always agree. And that's okay. But we still love each other unconditionally. And when we have disagreements, sometimes we have to walk away, take a breather, and come back. And that's okay. But again, family is everything. You know, they are all second only to faith. Okay? So my family. Definitely love them. I love shopping. <laughs> If I'm honest, I love to shop, you guys. It's my therapy. It is what, I don't know, everybody has an outlet. Some people drink, you know, some people like to read, some people like to exercise. But guys, I love to shop. I do. I, I really do. And I get it from my mama. I get it from my mama, Jean Teague. You know I get it from you, honey. Yes, I said your full name because I get it from my mama. I swear there is a gene inside of me, Lord, that says, Felicia, just go and window shop or just go. I can just go into a store and I'm looking for anything in particular, guys, and just walk up and down the aisles all by myself just looking and that is okay with me it is very relaxing to me and I'm not hey I, I, I'm equal opportunity when it comes to shopping it can be for clothes home decor definitely is my favorite thing to shop for it can be shoes it could be for I don't care. It could be at the Dollar Tree for household items, guys. I just love to do it because I love finding that diamond in the rough, rough when I'm out, when I'm just not looking for anything in particular. So it is definitely my outlet, definitely my therapy. It's, I, I love it. I really do. <laughs> and yes, I know I could probably use a 12-step program, but uh -uh. I don't want a 12-step program. I know I need help sometimes, but guess what? I don't want no help. <laughs> I don't want no help. If love and shopping is wrong, I don't want to be right. <laughs> so those are the three things that I love. If you would like to see my tablescape for this Valentine's Day, please continue to watch. So guys, here is an overview of my tablescape. And of course, I will zoom in a little closer just so you guys can get a better view of everything. Okay, so let's start with my centerpiece. And guys, I just kept it very simple. Um, I had this picture, this is just a white picture that I got. Actually, the pedestal and the picture both came from the Goodwill. I cannot remember what I spent for them. They were um, no more than five bucks. Uh, I think I spent like two or three bucks for the actual picture. And then all I did was I put a pink, um, some pink tool around the not the base but the plate part of the pedestal plate or the cake stand or whatever you want to call it I just put some pink tool that I already had here from last year's DIY and then I just wrapped it with a pink heart-shaped doily and a glittery red heart both from the Dollar Tree okay and so the centerpiece itself is just some branches guys that I got I want to say I got them from Ross for four bucks I think they were three either three ninety nine or four ninety nine and I just took some hearts that I already had 
from the Dollar Tree and I just randomly placed them on the branches. And this is actually a Pinterest inspired DIY that I did. Um, again, I just wanted to keep it very simple because I know it can get really busy really fast. So I just added the hearts to the branches and that's my centerpiece guys. And then for a runner, I couldn't find a traditional runner that I really liked. So some of you remember my uh, banner that I made last Valentine's Day and I did the conversation hearts. Well guys, these are from that DIY, from that banner that I did. And I just randomly laid them, you know, going in opposite directions to make a runner because I still love the conversation hearts. I still love, you know, they're such a big part of my childhood and I just want to incorporate them somehow. And as you can see, some of them say, be true, kiss me, marry me, hug me, all of that. And so guys, I use those as my runner because I really couldn't find one that, that really you know, that suited me, okay? So I use that as the runner. And guys, here is my place setting, okay? And I will go, you know, piece by piece to kind of show you guys, you know, what what I have. Okay, first I got this placemat from Michaels. Came from Michaels. It was, I, I don't know what the regular price was, but all of their Valentine's Day items were 40% off, and plus I get an educator, a 20% discount on top of that as an educator. So I got an additional 20% off of these. So I wanna say the final price was like $2 or $2.50. And I love the glitter and the sparkle and just how the hearts were just random. And then I just got a plate. And guys, these are actually my Sorry, why I moved that? My snowflake plate that I just repurposed. I just repurposed it because it was perfectly fine. So I used that. And then, I'm sorry, I'm gonna put this down for a second. I'm trying to hold the camera. And then, guys, I just added this pink napkin. And I got these napkins from where did these pink napkins come from? Amazon. Amazon guys. Oh my goodness. You guys remember that shopping jing that I told you guys about a little earlier in this video. You guys Amazon. Oh my gosh. Amazon. I cannot begin to tell you guys how much I love it. And if you are a Prime member and my husband made, <laughs> made the, the biggest mistake and we are Prime members. So Guys, I get it within like a day or two days and free shipping on most of the items that I order. So Amazon, thumbs up. Thumbs up this video if you love Amazon as much as I do because I find everything that I'm looking for on Amazon. And this came a dozen for $8 or something like that. Way more than what I needed, but I can obviously um, change these out if they start to get stained or anything like that. So getting a dozen for like eight bucks to me was a huge deal and a big win for me. Then I just topped that off with a plain white saucer. And guys, again, this came from the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree. You already know how much I love the Dollar Tree, so you guys do not sleep on Dollar Tree and some of their dishes. Oh my gosh, you cannot beat it for one dollar, okay? And then guys, I just got this um, red heart ornament, again from Michaels, and these were, and guys, here is my place setting, okay? And I will go, you know, piece by piece to kind of show you guys, you know, what, what I have. Okay, first I got this placemat from, Michaels came from Michaels. It was, I, I don't know what the regular price was, but all of their Valentine's Day items were 40% off. And plus I get an educator, a 20% discount on top of that as an educator. So I got an additional 20% off of these. So I want to say the final price was like $2 or $2.50. And I love the glitter and the sparkle and just how the hearts were just random. And then I just got a plate. And guys, these are actually my... Sorry, why I moved that? My snowflake plate that I just repurposed. 
I just repurposed it because it was perfectly fine. So I used that. And then, I'm sorry, put this down for a second. I'm trying to hold the camera. And then guys, I just added this pink napkin. And I got these napkins from, where did these pink napkins come from? Amazon. Amazon guys, oh my goodness. You guys remember that shopping jing that I told you guys about a little earlier in this video? You guys, Amazon, oh my gosh, Amazon. I cannot begin to tell you guys how much I love it. And if you are a Prime member and my husband made, <laughs> made the the biggest mistake and we are prime members so guys i get it within like a day or two days and free shipping on most of the items that i order so amazon thumbs up thumbs up this video if you love amazon as much as i do because i find everything that i'm looking for on amazon and this came a dozen for eight dollars or something like that way more than what i needed but i can obviously um change these out if they start to get stained or anything like that so getting a dozen for like eight bucks to me was a huge deal and a big win for me then I just top that off with a plain white saucer. And guys, again, this came from the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree. You already know how much I love the Dollar Tree. So you guys do not sleep on Dollar Tree and some of their dishes. Oh my gosh, you cannot beat it for $1, okay? And then guys, I just got this um, red heart ornament, again, from Michaels. And these were five dollars for eight of them and they were 50 percent off some was 40 some was 50 so i for eight of these i paid two dollars and 50 cents so and i just tucked it you know basically what this is what it looks like after i tuck it and guys that was it i just again i it, i was all about simplicity um, this year I didn't again. I don't go all out. I felt like this was simple enough where you know It just made sense. Okay, so I'm gonna try to back up and give you guys another view of it okay, wait a minute. So guys here is one final look at my tablescape So this is what I came up with and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And guys, do not forget to check out the other ladies in this collaboration. And I want to thank Kimberly over at Diva Designing on a Dime. Hey, Kim. My sister from another mister. I just wanted to thank her for inviting me to do this collaboration. If you guys have not visited her channel, what are you waiting for, girlfriend? You are missing out. Go and visit the Diva Designing on a Dime. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. As always, miracles and blessings, family.